just an unnecessary detail about the stadium. You see the YouTube chat? I mean, it got me a plus 800 to propose an end on Warriors postgame show. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, man? Well, let's make that happen. Uh, oh, 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 man. Plus 800? That should be plus 5,000. There's no way he's doing it that so way. So you guys are more into the Let's betting than on, I am. Dippy. I don't I don't know much. <laughs> if actually I really don't know anything about betting. And so Let's pivot back to Bonte and the proposal. No, no, no. I want to talk about the and Niners. I'm loving the PSG by the way. You like that? The that's Niners a nice thing on you. I, my bad. I spent a little too much money in the team store. It's That's it fine. Great. About 80 euro, I'm sure. Yeah, it was nice. It was yeah, nice. Yeah, the fit is good on you. All right, thank you. Yeah. So explain to me this you guys cuz when I listen to your guys' show, you guys are really on it when it comes to the gambling and whatnot. Okay, good. Tim Calico he was tweeting out yes this morning. Couple of degenerates. Go ahead. Yeah. That the, the Niners were underdogs at the beginning of the week. Yeah. Now they're favorites. It's about a four point swing. So again, as a I'm not a I'm not a gambler, and I know they try to get even money on both sides. Yeah. And this is, but when you hear that, what is your guys' takeaway? When I tell you the Niners started as underdogs, now it, with the Jimmy news it, and everything, there, there are multiple factors, but it's yeah. mo- it's mostly so Jimmy. It's mostly nah, no, 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 it's not no, mostly. Let, let me, let me, I want to hear yeah, what you're saying. Totally it's so just, Nathaniel explain. Hatchet okay, is so, what it is. So, yeah, but is it the public? What it, well, sure. So, okay. It's the public confidence in Jimmy? It's both. Like, when 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 you're an odds I'm maker, noob, when, you're, when you're sitting in a room and these odds makers are doing this together, it, it is a combo of either the information they have and what they believe is is the right spot to 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 put a number at least to start, uh-huh. but then it's going to react based on what the public thinks how and what they do, in. right? How yeah, much okay. money is coming in? That's what's going to make a line move. When you see a line move that quickly before there even has really been a chance for money to flow in, that's telling you that it's kind of before that, so it's informational. There are multiple that I know a lot of 49er fans haven't probably watched Denver Bronco football yet. Part we of watched the, part of the Seattle game. Part of the Seattle right, game. Right, yeah, right. It's Seattle Seahawks and it's Russell Wilson. Right. So, but here's the thing on that Every number. The that. thought going into last week was okay at Seattle, yeah, tons yeah, yeah. of emotion. Yes. Yes. And you fumbled twice inside the five. Agreed. We're gonna give you a pass. And you botched the ending. Now come home for a week, Houston, yeah. and flex moment of the day, and they didn't oh. do it. Yeah. They, they they barely got to 17 points. It I took, like Texans more than the most, but yeah, I hear what you're saying. Hard. Right. I hear they yeah. hard. Took, Both took, teams they played were, hard. No, they were trailing in the fourth quarter, <laughs> yes. and yeah. they win the game. And so <laughs> part, part of the move was Denver looked less than stellar. Uh-huh. And yes, a bigger part of the move was, oh, the 49ers suddenly went from partially development to, like, let's go win the so, game. So this, okay. Because I'm, I'm just a I, I'm recal- So why do you disagree? Because, yes, Jimmy's a factor, but we're also forgetting that number 85, George Kittle, is back in the lineup. Who may be more George important to them. But do, they, 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 they do more, tight ends move the needle? They, but Very, in this offense, they barely do. But also, Denver has a lot of injuries. There's a lot of unknowns. No, no, no. M- multiple factors. Jerry Judy, there you don't are, know if he's playing or not. Justin Simmons is out. Very, very few actual individual line movers in the NFL. Right? And quarterbacks yes, are one. Quarterbacks are yeah, one, and, and not every quarterback's the same. Yeah, because Aaron Rodgers misses. I and, heard it's like four to six points. Right. Devontae misses when he was on Green Bay. It's like two points, like, one point. Like, let's go back to I, last I, week for the 49ers, okay? Is that line different if Kittle's playing? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know I, enough. I, 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 don't, don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it's like, Dibs. oh, because, you know, what what was the line going into that game? Nine? It was like nine. I it, thought it was it really high. It got up high. to ten. It got down right. to eight is and a half. Is that it thing was all over the is place. Is it ten and a half if George playing? No. 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 It's and not going to I don't think it. it's as much Jimmy as it is Nathaniel Hackett. and uh, The and, perception. And, well, and the fact that, yeah, Denver... They, they beat Houston 16 to 9. Their defense, by the way, is nasty. And I'll get I'm into it during the them. show coming up. I'll tell you why I think Denver's going to win the game. Oh, so. And uh, it, it's in large part because the defense, the Niners' offensive line, has been a little bit porous. Oh. This game feels like a 12 to 11 kind of ball game. Yeah. So. It's an ugly game, but the spread moved not because Jimmy G and the yeah, smoky well, brown eyes. So you don't believe that. Well, no, it's no, interesting because no. Benjamin, uh, Benjamin Albright, Broncos insider, just told never us. Never heard of him, by yeah, the way. Never heard of him. Michael Silver's best friend. He, he just told us that the <laughs> league fears, they don't fear 
<laughs> Jimmy, as much as they do, Trey, he goes, it's a benefit to have Jimmy because we know he can't move in the pocket. It's from a Broncos insider who's right. taking a lot of calls But out he there. also so, gets rid of the ball faster than anyone other than Brady in the league. And he okay. also Actually, wins I, like two out down, of every three down. games. I, I get so. what he's saying, though. Buying what he's okay. saying, well, no. So, not, okay, I fear this player. I'm an athlete. I'm a linebacker. Who do I fear more? I'm going to fear Trey more. He can do more things, and I also haven't seen it before. That, You're, I think, is the biggest you, we, element. We fear, yeah, that's human right. beings, the we unknown. fear the unknown. Yeah. Yeah. The okay? fan base does. The Jimmy, monster Jim, under the bed. Right. Jimmy yeah. Garoppolo is a very, very known commodity. B-level quarterback. Yeah. Right? Yeah, B-minus. And so, whatever you want to call him. He's right? in the B range. So, B-plus some days, A-minus. Right, yeah, so I'm going to give him a C-plus. I want to give him a C-plus. I'm just trying to trigger Mark Ernie on Friday. Not going to work. Not going to work. This guy came in with donuts. No, those were mine. Those yeah. were give Kyle oh. credit for the donuts. Kyle, yeah. I didn't bring donuts yeah. for anybody today. Shout out to Trey. Did he bring, I one. Did he bring those one. candlestick chronicle beers? Not yet. No, no. He Not yet. What's he going will. on here? I got all invited to that thing before it happened. Oh, you did. And then I never heard another word about it after. Oh. And so I want to know what went down. It was like the wedding. What you didn't hit the list. What went down? Who ended up with some sort of an animal in a hotel room or something? Like, what happened Man. that weekend? I don't Welcome know. to the club. Yeah. Mike Tyson and a tiger. Right. Welcome to the club. Oh, speaking of Mike Tyson, boy, did I hear you butcher the hell out of that Phil Collins song earlier today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. I mean, Mark. like, uh, none of us can sing, Thank but you. good Lord. Hey, I mean, the, the You know what Bob Meyer said to me when we walked in? was all in the wrong place. What? I'll give you the drip as you're dropping the drip. He goes, I love B. His portfolio needs to be diversified when it comes to music. <laughs> because he's got one lane, a fast lane. Yes. Well, that's that's okay. Okay. He's he's okay. okay. We don't do stitch music. I'm not going to music can't, shame anymore. can't drive into the hood bumping Phil Collins. Nobody Actually, in the hood was bumping Phil Collins. Yeah, that's one of the few white you dudes you actually can't go down into the hood. I was just going to say. You can't. No, 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 you cannot roll in with Susu Studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm with you, Monte. I'm with you. It is. It is. It counts, man. It's okay. Nobody rolling down with the Burger Rock. Rock. It's not Phil. It's not Phil. It's that track. It's that track. Or if Phil Bailey is on the track, then you can come. Or if you come with two hearts living in just one mind. He's getting exactly. Yeah, He's getting this. run out and of this. This is town. a great wedding song. <laughs> <laughs> Anything's a great wedding song. Everyone's yeah. wasted. Yeah, that's but don't yeah. knock it off, bro. <laughs> are you live? Are you <laughs> D- DJ or live band? Uh, oh, DJ. I'm with you on yeah, DJ. DJ. What about you? DJ. Uh, DJ the first time, and I think it's going to be DJ the second time. Nice. Yeah. I like <laughs> a live band. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like risky, it. man. It's it gotta be a good line. It's band. like drafting it's Trey Lance though. versus it's just so sticking risky. with Jimmy, man. Like, just it's go so with the DJ. It may not be perfect, but we, you know, go with what you know. So my, my buddy, Batson. my buddy Careful. Scott Igo, who uh, <laughs> Mark knows the Igo family, Foster City. He's Scott Igo is one of yeah, my best friends from college. Scott's little brother tried to kill one of my friends with a baseball one time. What? Scott not got purpose, married in '98, and you know, we we go to the reception, and there was a big curtain, and all of a sudden he goes, you know, time to enter introduce our band it was general public oh the wow. actual band wow so wow. it wasn't like a cover band he that's had, pretty badass he had pulled i mean general public if you're an 80s kid like we yeah. all were man of resource so, Jeez. Did like, yeah. Yeah. Actual band of the money. i mean he's the, he's the <laughs> vp at abc for crying out loud well there you go he, uh, did they shut down he produces Disneyland such too? shows as uh as the oscars so <laughs> wow he's got That'll a little bit wow. wow my boy That'll scott he pulled out general public so that was an actual band and it's like oh my god this is an actual that's band cool. It's not like, you know, General Pubic, which is like a knockoff. All right. Like a knockoff I, band. I already know oh, how Mark's, Mark's going to answer this question. He probably won't even answer the question, so I'm going to start with you, Dibs. Oh, wow. That was dismissive. Both these teams need a win, no doubt about it. Sure. But who of the 49ers needs this win the most? Is it Shanahan? Is it Garoppolo? Is it Kittle? Is it the defense? I think it's Shanahan. Oh, it's Shanahan, and it's not even close. And I said this at the start of the year before Trey Lance got hurt. This is a Shanahan year. You need to figure out how to win with a young quarterback and still get this done. And, well, now your young quarterback is sidelined for the year, and so now you still need to make uh, a mountain out of this molehill. So it's all Shanahan all the time. And do me a favor, Kyle, and I know you're listening on your way to Denver when it's (laughs) third and short. Or if, if it's fourth and short and you're at midfield, don't punt, dog. Take a chance. Yeah. I'm Live not, on the edge. First of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to, in general, agree with you guys, but I also think our excitement level because of the drama that has taken place the first two weeks is actually overstating 
the importance of this game. If they lose this game and come back the next week and beat the Rams on Monday two night, two is fine. Like, I don't. It's just funny. We're fans, and so but, we're into it on a week to week basis. And every NFL game is big, but it 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 does. It strikes me as funny the way we never learned the lessons from the, even the previous year. The team was three and five, two and yeah, four. Everyone wanted to kick five. the season, out, and they're like, "This is a must win," and that's a must win. It dibs to borrow your damn. Fr- no, it's not. Thank you, Mark. No, it's but, not. But, but, but you can. But would you, you know agree what, that the travel, the road that you, you had to take travel, the L and then you bounce back? No, like, I'm with it's you. Okay. But, Shout but out the Drake. road that Thank you, you had to travel last year, <laughs> you can't tell me that that second half in LA, the same thing in 2013 when they went to Seattle, yep. when you play tough road games right. it, against Dallas, against Green Bay, oh, it wears it's on you. It's huge. So stacking wins early when the Rams are trying to find themselves. That's all. The Cardinals don't have Hopkins. Seattle stinks. And then that second half schedule where you're playing Tampa and you got the Chiefs later on. You have the Saints in that tough defense. They're all and big. You have Miami. They're all big. Stacking wins early, getting off to a great start comps. Look, everything down. I've watched. I would have seen them be three and one. It's I, time to get greedy. Absolutely. After the first four I, they're games. They're all big, and I've watched Denver enough to where I really feel like the 49ers are just the better team. And so when and in the NFL, the better team doesn't always win. It's no. pro football. But when that's the case, yeah, you don't want to have two games out of your first three where you were the better team and you lost. So, yes, it is a monster game. I'll agree with you that Kyle is going to be the central focus because we all are welcoming Jimmy into our lives in ways that we didn't in the last couple of years. So I'll agree with the premise, but if they lose this game, like it's not time to jump off a cliff. No, it's fine. Okay. But if they lose to the Rams after losing this game, now we've got issues because even if you beat Carolina and Atlanta, then you're, you're three just and three. Well, you're just three and three. Right, but you're not dead. You, no, but you should be four and two minimum. You shouldn't have lost to, sh- to Chicago. I mean, and you did. The, the seventh spot gives you a little can wiggle we, room. Can we also talk about? And this is just going to be Don't our you projection. Want a home playoff game? No, sure. Of course, about of course getting I do. Playoff right, game. Of course but, I do. But this is just a projection. Let's look. Look at what we at least feel in the moment about the NFC West. Last year, week. last year you had three teams uh, bouncing around Inside. at 10, 10 double-digit wins. That's not happening this year. That's a, you don't need 12 wins to win this division this year. Oh, you talking about the NFC West. NFC West, right. I don't know what to make I of think Arizona. I th- right. But so I think, we'll see. Like, they were so I, great I in the first half of the year last year, Agreed. and they're clearly not Agreed. that Agreed. this year. But so You need 11 get, to win the division. And though. I thought you're not going to win it at 10-7. Maybe. maybe. I thought higher of Seattle. Hopkins is coming back. Hopkins is coming back soon for the Arizona Cardinals. Not that Big soon. game for them, for the Rams. They could stack wins early, too. Just being in first place in the NFC West before you play Arizona twice. You have that game. I think you got to stack wins. You got to win today. I mean, excuse me, on Sunday, and then set up that Monday night matchup where you've won six of the last seven against the Rams. To me, Sunday's a scary one because uh, yeah. A, yep. their D line is nasty, and your offensive line is shaky. Yep. B, Russell Wilson has owned you over the course that's of his career. And mobile and quarterbacks and, and against you know this well, That's the guy. Yes. I actually, I'm going to reject so far the what I've seen from their defensive line. Their defense looks disappointing to me. They have they've played. given up 26 <laughs> points. Yeah, right. right. Shout out Seattle and, and, in the second and, half. And, and exactly. Who they, and who'd they play? They played Geno Smith, well, who the 49ers kept completely off the board, and he came out and looked like... Well, Seattle guns. kept themselves off what, the board. What did, what they did, kept caught from the bottom. What, twi- what did Twitter say after the first half? Wow, Geno Smith is actually good. He's got quotes. They didn't. I didn't write back. All of this. 49ers didn't let Geno look like that. And then last week, Davis Mills... Actually, I would say this about both of these defenses. Neither one of them has been tested Davis yet. Mills right. looked good against You're the Niners both, last year. Davis Mills can uh, spin it. Dude, he looked good against <laughs> the Niners last year. Davis Mills looked good at least. He, he all right. He Davis all right. Davis all right. Mills looked good at least. He's all right. He's not going to light you up. Houston's better than Chicago. He scored nine points, Mark. Yeah. He scored nine points. They held Houston to nine points. Yeah. An NFL team in today's era where offenses are exploding, they're fine. They scored nine points. They're fine. They're not terrifying. I've seen at least five defenses look way better than Denver so far. Okay. And I mean, if I, wanna, the ball. if I want to continue to pile on why I think Denver perhaps can win this game or should win this game, uh, the Niners rushing attack, you you got Jeff Wilson Jr. and rookies, George Kittle coming back, and he's probably not 100%. And your guy, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's not going to throw the ball all over the park. This game feels like a 9-8 
12 11 and bet the under yeah one wow. of those classic it was 10 11 2 minutes ago yeah, yeah. It's, i'm it's, feeling this you know what 6 5 <laughs> it's a 6 5 what is, what is the over under what's, what's the over under in the bro. game what I is the over under let me look it up yeah, look i thought 1140 we were doing those picks I, we are we are that's good odds my bad that big got pushed to sleep yeah there's a pillow over that bit my bad i didn't know spread formation i was eating a little caesar's pizza at uh at whatever it's called. Pizza Pizza? Uh, yeah. Oh. The Jiffy Lube when I was getting the oil changed yesterday and I was watching on YouTube the interview with Michael Silver. It was really good. It was very good. It got a lot of views on YouTube. If you missed it, Thanks, go brother. on YouTube and yeah, check it out. Thank you. Right that was really good. Michael Silver? Uh, it was good. 44 and a half. 44 and a half. Oh, God. I bet you right now, you're talking about the, the, the 9 to 8. I'll bet you right now, over under 49 or points, 20 and a half. I'll take the over. 20 and a half? Yep. Is that what their team total no, is? No, no, no. The game total. You're making just, that up. Well, no. I, yeah, I didn't even look. But you're telling me the score is going to be 9 to 8. I'm telling you, bang the under. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go under one and a half touchdowns for your boy. Your boy, Jimmy G. Passing touchdowns or for the 49ers? Well, he's not going to get a rushing touchdown unless he sneaks it know, in because that's all he week, can do. Yeah, well, no. Any rushing touchdowns. I don't care who gets the score as long as the team does. Yeah. I, uh, I, think, I think the Niners will go north of 20 points. Wow. On Bovada.lv. Niners total team team total points twenty three yeah Denver twenty one mm-hmm. there you go 23, and then, 21, and the 44. number and the number and is hit. the number is two now by the way it's gone from one and a half to two the Forty Nine ers are a two point favorite now so the money keeps coming in on the Niners I just worry about Russ running around and doing his magician crap so what do you guys think about this because this is something that Dibs and I want to get into here in a few minutes um, I noticed something back to back with the Niners playing Seattle yeah. followed by playing Russell Wilson yeah, the next it's week called scar tissue so granted <laughs> go back to the Richard Sherman days and, yeah. and mediocre receiver that's a little bit turkey different turkey on the 50 but like I got no hairs on the back of my neck standing up last week when Seattle came to town but I do this week. And it made me realize the rivalry that we've been talking about for the last few years is not the Seahawks. It's Russ. It's Russ. It's been Russ. It's Russ. It's I'm, like way when, more, no. I'm way more turned up about this week than I was last week. It's the Brett Favre thing. Because like when Brett Favre came and, and it was a Jet quarterback, came to Candlesticks, like, oh, God, it's Favre again. Yep. And you think he's going to tear your heart out. The Viking game that me and him always reference. Who was it? Greg Lewis? Greg Lewis. Who caught the pass at the end? Uh, Glenn Coffey getting hurt. It's exactly like that. Favre is one Frank of those Boy guys. And now Glenn Coffey right? He's lot. clearly an awful human being, but his rival now is the state of Mississippi. Good. I mean, thankfully. But he does jail time. Yeah, but the point is, is that, yes, Brett Favre, Russell Wilson, the ball's in their hand. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. And the longer he extends the play, I just assume yeah. the worst thing's going to happen to the I Niners. Was, I was jacked up last week because it was a home opener, a bounce back game for Trey Lance and the 49ers coming off that loss. Uh, to Chicago, and you had Pete Carroll walking up and down the sideline. It's still, I still get geeked up about Seattle. It's a divisional game. Seattle, Seattle they High at, School, yeah, Green County, there you Pete go. Carroll. There you go. I was jacked up about that. This Denver game, I'm just more intrigued about what the Niners look like offensively. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm I like. I don't care about sure. Russ anymore. I've already seen enough of Russ in the Let's Ride. Well, we saw him on Monday Night Football. If the we saw his TikTok let's on ride. Sunday. Niners yeah. are up. Let's, let's ride. ride. Broncos Nation. N- let's ride. Niners like, are up four. On. Broncos get the ball. A minute and a half to go. You're telling well, me that's not going to trigger something. I, I would you. be triggered anyway. Trigger something. I would be it's triggered anyway. I don't want to watch that game. No, the game's in the balance. That's what's going to trigger me. You're going to have Joe Flacco play a quarterback. Dow four, Niners defense on the field. But it's you different with Russ. Lead. Come on. I mean, it could be the same. Gino's got the rock. Russ has got the yeah. rock. It right. feels a little different. Breaking news. 95-7 The Game. Breaking news. Brought to you by the Beat the Streak podcast. Get an inside edge on how to win the $5.6 million prize every day dollars. this baseball season. <laughs> Listen on Odyssey or wherever you get your podcast. <laughs> no. no. Chips are right from the athletic. When you say it. Andre Godala announces on his Point Forward podcast that he's re-signing with the Golden State Warriors for his 19th NBA season. Godala said, I'm letting you know right now, Steph, this is the last one. <laughs> last Iguodala's ride. Back. Not let's ride. Last ride. It's the last dance, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Any contract details? <laughs> no details. Probably a one-year deal for the vet men. Vet men. Vet men. <laughs> is, <laughs> is there a stipulation about coaching? Because he doesn't want to get paid to just be a player. He wants to be paid to tutor. I said this yesterday. I don't want to hear one word from Vet Min Wadala <laughs> about, oh, I'm only making $2.742839 million. Andre Wadala, just beat it. 
I'm with you. On the, on the, I like Iggy in general. He hates Iggy, by the way. Okay. Which is why I should call him Andre yeah. Iguodala. He wants Iguodala. Okay, yeah. apologies. Yeah. But no, no, no. You don't have to apologize to him. He's I'm made $180 million. I'm with you on the, what's called reading the room. It's yeah. like, dude, do you realize how expensive Seriously, it is to go to a game with a family? Even just a couple of people. Like, you complaining about how little you're making in this society, given everything that's happened the last couple of years. Right. Just read the room as an older person. That's all I'm saying. Agreed. And absolutely agreed. The guy's made you know damn near two hundred million dollars. He's probably gonna be a Hall of Famer when all is said and done. That's an I interesting think, question. Well, based on oh, that's good. if you look at his Olympic gold medal, yeah, yeah. and college. you look at his, maybe. his college career. Maybe Arizona. Remember, it's the basketball hall yeah, of fame. Very in the basketball yep. hall of fame, yep. we let everyone in anyway. Yeah. And he's got in. four rings. Great. Yeah. And you know, Grant Hill was like his first seven or eight years were incredible. Yeah, but he got right hurt. No, I he know, but hurt. like he was like a seven-time All-Star more rookie of the year with J. J. Kidd. More decorated career, Duke. Oh, no exactly, doubt. which no is doubt. why it's no no the Hall, Hall of Fame. Yeah. Hall of right. Fame. So should uh, he's better. Iggy's been better throughout the totality of his career than Robert Ory. But should a, a Robert Ory, for example, I'm just using him as an example. Would you guys want him in the Basketball Hall of Fame? No, he's not a Hall of Famer. You don't think so? If you let. Ori in, then you got to let Patrick McCaw in because Patrick McCaw's got. <laughs> oh, that's. Dips. McCaw's Come on. got what? Four I can't rings? let you do that. McCaw's got three. Like, rings. Robert Ori hit big shots. He played. He hit a big no, shot. He hit a lot of big oh, shots. He's still on the road. Big shots. Lakers. Whatever. Come and on. He, he was that good. too, by the way. He was good. Oh, that's that, that, that's disrespectful. The guy averaged about 10 points Come a game on. in his career. He's not a Hall of Famer. Patrick McCaw. Come on. He played 30 seconds. Over under. He's got rings. Golf rounds more than you in a month. Huh. Games played this year. Wow, Andre Iguodala. Uh, the over, I, I would bet the golf rounds. And I, I mentioned this to Mark yesterday. Andre Iguodala, he stinks as a golfer. I've golfed really. I've golfed around him. Damn, I've so seen him shade. play. No, no, no. I'm keeping it real. Psalm slice Ponte. one ball and he's decided he stinks. And Andre exactly. Psalm Andre slice AAA, one ball. Nine five <laughs> seven. Nine five seven. The swing, though. He's terrible. You can kind of tell. He's terrible. I'm not buying this. Whatever you don't I'm have to buy it. it. I'm not selling it. I'm speaking fact. You've never seen him golf. You saw one. I've slice. had him hit into me. You saw one slice and you saw. I've seen things. him at the Accenture uh, at, at the tournament up in Tahoe. Century. The Century. What did he shoot? What did he shoot? He shot. He was like well, that barely one's a, in the plus because you can't shave there. No, but that one's a um. What's it called? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, Stapleford. It's a you. modified Thank system. You. I know yes. that. Yeah, but we and can he still was like, what you know, yeah. And he was in the fifties. He barely was in the plus. Yeah, he's, he's terrible. And I believe they pick up after he's a Robert double, net, Robert bogey. Robert, that was double net bogey or whatever the hell You're it all is. Fire, yeah. I can't let you go. Man. Come on, man. I mean, Robert Ory. If he wasn't on winning teams, who would he be? Who would he be? I mean, uh, Shane, Shane Battier. Exactly. I mean, who would Danny Ainge be? be Shane without, who would Danny Ainge be if he wasn't on winning teams? He would have been a Toronto Blue Jay outfielder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Danny Ainge had one of the greatest <laughs> plays in NCAA tournament. Oh, I what about what you. he did fouling Dominique Wilkins when they were up three and forcing him to shoot free throws in that 88 playoff game? Look at you. Yeah, when Larry Burton Look and him were going back and forth. It's one of the smartest plays ever. It the is. answer is he'd oh, be Scott Skiles. It was really Scott Skiles. Scott Skiles. Scott Scotty Brooks. Shout out Mantique. Most assists ever. In a single game, Scott Scott. Scott. Yeah. 29, 29 no, or 30? 30, yeah. Is it 30? 30, 30 wow. yeah. Nobody's breaking that off. We're flexing. Yeah. We are flexing. Hey, I gotta, I gotta get a cut, man. It's Friday. We get out of here. No, we're not. Oh, you leaving? You getting a cut for media? You getting yeah. a cut for media? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some things, man. You know, you, know, you can't spell media day sheets. without M E. By the way, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with that. Well, that's the same thing they say about team. <laughs> that's a four. That's a four. <laughs> Tio <laughs> said on the sideline, "You can't spell team without getting me the ball." <laughs> Mark, be careful today. Hang on. I heard Scott and Fremont call the show yesterday. He was on your bumper, man. I know. All the guys on your bumper, man. You know, you know who Andre Iguodala finished just in front of in American Century Championship last year? Give it to me. Josh Allen. I know we're not supposed to compare anyone to Josh Allen. Yeah. But he is a better golfer a than Josh golfer. Allen. He's a newer golfer than Josh Allen. He picked it up in the last four or five years. Yep. He beat Emmett Smith. He beat Travis Kelsey. He beat Seth Curry. Take that, Dibs. Oh, That's wow. Just, Seth Curry. He's probably the fifth best Curry those, those on the golf course. Curry's can go. All right, Ponte. Go. You can leave. I got it. Shasky can stay. You want to stay, Shasky? I want to break down the President's Cup and how right. it's been hollowed out because right. of Liv. It's a right. joke. I'm right. not no, even no. watching Turns it. Turns out, no, then you can't stay. The 2009, like that, Tiger Woods. Neil Long was just on an Old oh Spice commercial. God. Damn, Party dude. Park. <sighs> anyway, you guys have a good show. So, let's guys, make that happen this year. Okay.